All right, so it's just a quick now because I just exercised and uh, showered, and Kia can't relax. She's walking around all the time, and I know that she wants to be out, but I can't go out just yet because I have to get ready because I'm going to meet a fellow transgender girl today, as I said yesterday, and I'm a bit stressed because yeah. I'm a few minutes behind schedule. I attribute that to my dad, who woke me up at midnight because he just had to get his dog, despite me saying, wait until tomorrow morning, but no. He came, got his dog, and that made me stay awake for a few more hours, and uh, I got a horrible sleep, and I was too tired to get started with my exercise when I had planned, so I did it a few hours, uh, not a few hours, half an hour later. So that's why I'm a bit late, because I had decided to exercise for at least three, and three hours today. So I exercise for three hours and 20 minutes. It's because, because I prefer that exercise. I rode uh, 95 kilometers or so, a bit more, 98 I believe. And uh, that felt great. I really... It felt good today just to exercise. I haven't weighed myself today because I don't want to see my weight today because I feel fat. I feel really fat today. I'm guessing that it's something in the 70 range, 71 and a half maybe, 72. And that's, in my mind, 10 kilos too much. I mean, I've kept a steady weight of about 69 to 72 sh kilograms uh, for quite a while now. But, you know, in our anorectic head, you always feel fat despite not being fat. Or you won't know what the people who have anorexia nervosa will know the feeling at least, or, or have had anorexia nervosa. I still suffer from th those issues. I don't count calories anymore. At least not at the moment. I usually only do that when I'm in my, the bottom of my <coughs> feelings of my depression. But I'm not there at the moment. Because I, have not, I don't have anorexia at the moment, I have bulimia. But it's been a week now since uh, I've vomited, so that's good. I haven't done that since in France, and that's a step forward. Oh, it's going to get smeared on today. I took too much foundation. So, as I said, I'm going to see a transgender girl today. She lives quite nearby, so I'm going to walk there in, as soon as I'm finished here. She knows that I'm coming, of course. Her mother is away. <coughs> she said, at least, so I'll have to see about that. She's uh, quite a few years younger than I am. She's uh, 16, I believe. And you know, with teenagers, things can change very quickly. But hopefully, things go as planned up and we'll meet in an hour, in less than an hour. Sorry, I just burped. I drank a lot of fluid just to keep my electrolyte balance at a normal level while training. And I usually get quite burpy after that because some of the drinks uh, contain, contain uh, 
carbon dioxide. Not carbon dioxide, uh, oh, I can't remember, is that CO3? Carbon trioxide, I believe. You know, the psh fluid. Uh, <laughs> stress can be quite beneficial in some moments, but maybe not now. camera is a bit inaccurately placed, so that's of course an issue as well. I talk a lot about issues, I really do. My crooked smile, no, look here, it's not here. I can't do that. That's how it is when you have injured your, yourself in a traffic accident. And that's my punishment for, I don't know, exercising. Because nothing I did that day was in the wrong. The truck driver, he drove too close to the side of the road. And that's how he hit me, and then he just left. Or she, I don't know. Never knew who it was. But I was discovered quite quickly and I they managed to save me before I lost too much blood. But I was in a coma for four days. And things looked quite severe for a while, but I managed to come over that. They wanted to put me out of school for a year, but I refused, so I was back in school two weeks after the accident. And I only missed one test. <laughs> so that was a bit insane of me, because it put a lot of strain on my body. But that's me, how I am. Stupid idiot. And I my camera is a bit high, so people can see what I'm actually doing here. Or person, because there's just one person other than me who watch my videos, I believe. And thank you to whoever you are, and I look crazy today. My eyeshadow has turned a bit runny. That's just late. So I'm going to go over this one with concealer quickly. Because I don't want eyeshadow and mascara to mix up here. Because that will create quite a terrifying look. I believe this concealer is about to run out. No, no, no. This is going to be fun. As you can see, I've managed to smear concealer all the way there. But I didn't want to, but that happened. That's how it is when you're in a rush, but... Let's see if we can solve, save this mess.
<laughs> this is the first time I screw up in that way. But now I just at least to create a base. So I'm just going to go very light here. That's better. I have eyeshadow out here. As you can see, it's runny today. That's not good. Oh, stress, 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 and a bit more stress. I think this is also probably because I'm just out of the shower and things are still a bit runny here. I usually manage quite well with my eyes, but this stupid hair. Perspiration as well. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I'm going to add some concealer, of course. Where's the other concealer? Where's the other concealer? Oh, I managed to lose my other bottle of concealer. I don't want this to be so uneven as it appears at the moment. I'm going to put on some more blusher. Better than nothing, at least. I'm just going to check in another mirror very quickly. Yes. As you can see, I'm wearing my bra. It's a, a red one, the only one I have. Of course, it's a push up because I don't have this. 
this big a chest, unfortunately. I wished I had, but no, I I am not even an A cup. Despite five years of HRT, so that's a bit disappointing, of course. Hmm. I think that this mus this mascara has done its purpose. You can see it's a bit uneven here. I'll just move my eyeshadow. bit better at least. So I'm going to end this video now and I'm going to record my voice when I get home, whatever that is. So, bye!